John Stewart here to celebrate the 2021 Warrior Games. They shine a light on the courage and resilience of military veterans. John is hosting the opening and closing ceremonies on ESPN. That's in September at Walt Disney World. John, welcome back. How are you? I am doing great. Great to see you again and great to see these games coming back. They were canceled last year after the, for the pandemic. So much to celebrate this year. Uh, absolutely. You know, uh, it was really tough to lose the games last year. I know that the athletes look forward to it so much. And, uh, you know, when you're a, a wounded warrior, you know, whether the wounds are visible, invisible, it can really be isolating. You know, you're away from uh, your unit, you're away from then your teammates. And uh, being able to get these guys all together again, you know, it's, it's a great way for them. It's, it's not just about the competition, it's about the community. And, and they all kind of hold each other accountable and, and they really create this incredible bond with each other. Uh, it, it's it's really wonderful to watch. That's and you've, senior volleyball. Right you've there. seen up close what amazing athletes they are. I know you tried out uh, wheelchair basketball, some seated volleyball as well. It's very kind of you to say uh, that, I, that I tried it out. <laughs> it was more of a, a demolition derby. Uh, the wheelchair basketball, man, is, is so uh, hard on you in terms of not just like the physical part of uh, you know, moving yourself up and down the court, but like as guys are coming at you, they're coming at you like at 20 miles an hour to block your shot. And I did the uh, the seated volleyball uh, down at uh, uh, Special Operations Command down in uh, Tampa, and that was I think four years ago, and I am still bruised, <laughs> still bruised. Four it, years. I, I, I believe it. Looking at that, it looks like some intense competition, right uh, there. No, the com and, and the competition is fierce. Like these athletes are world class adaptive sport athletes. I mean, they go at it. You have emceed the Warrior Games before, and we've been showing this footage of you all morning jumping out of that airplane. That's going to be tough to top this year. I I hope that I don't have to. You know, my friend uh, DT Israel Del Toro. He is a jump master he was he was wounded and actually came back in uh uh re-enlisted in the air force and he said hey man we should jump out of a plane and i was like absolutely uh and then we got to the plane and he stayed on the ground and, and i had to walk up into it and go and uh the guy who was my guide said hey do you want to steer i said sure I'll, I'll do that he said just do this just grab like that and he put us into a tailspin that's kind of like a hazing thing and so uh, I had to vomit, but I still had about five minutes of descent. So I just, I just sat while I was, while I was floating down, waiting as the, as all the Air Force guys waited in a little circle for me to get down there and, and retch for my, uh, that's, that was my, that was my hazing. Well, as good, it came thing, in. good thing that you waited, you know, it's so hard to believe, uh, it's been 20 years since America first went into Afghanistan. You've been dedicated to this cause of the wounded warriors for so long. And, and, and especially this year, it seems like it's, it's so important for all of us to honor and celebrate these athletes, these patriots. Well, you know, it, it, it's a great, this is the first time that, that they've actually partnered up with, you know, the, the first time I hosted it was just up at, uh, at West Point, you know, and it was really just the, the athletes and family members and their caregivers. And each year it's gotten bigger. That's, you're seeing the one there. I think that was at Soldier Field. The one uh, that we did in Chicago was in Soldier Field. Uh, we did one at uh, uh, Colorado Springs. Uh, the last one was in Tampa and the cities have really embraced it. This is the first time they partnered up with the company. So Disney uh, and ESPN has been great, by the way. They've covered it for I think the last four or five times that we've done it. But Disney is going to partner with us in Orlando uh, at their Wild World of Sports area. And so the games are free for everybody who wants to come see. You know, you can come in, you can watch the competitions, all the ones, uh, the opening ceremonies, the closing ceremonies. There's always great entertainment there. Uh, Kelly Clarkson's performed a couple of times, Blake Shelton. Um, but man, when you come in there and you see these athletes compete, and you see the resilience and you see just the pride they take in all of it. it it's really a great experience for people. So I hope I hope people come out uh, to watch the games and to, and to cheer people on. Incredibly inspiring. That is in September at Walt Disney World and on ESPN. John Stewart, great to see you again. Thank you. Nice seeing you.